Before you begin, ensure that you have the appropriate PPE and that you have read the instructions fully. Replacement instructions can be found at galebreaker.com. Check the contents of your vent tube against the parts listed in your instructions. Do not expose the tube material to any sharp objects or edges. Lay the panels on a flat surface and bend along the perforated edge. Position the side panel in place and rivet as shown. Repeat on the opposite side. For panel fans over 45cm in diameter, braces are supplied for extra rigidity. To mark the fan position, measure from the ground as shown. Refer to the fan and tube height document supplied with your tube. If the mounting sheet has not yet been cut to size, use an angle grinder or sharp cutters to cut out the appropriate hole for the size of fan to be installed. Temporarily attach the mounting sheet to the building, ensuring that it's level. Mark using the mounting sheet as a template. Cut the fan hole using an appropriate tool for the material of the building. Secure the mounting sheet to the building. Drill through the four pre-drilled fan mounting holes. From outside the building, push the fan through the centre hole in the mounting sheet and secure the fan to the sheet using appropriate bolts with the motor assembly outside of the building. Fix the mounting bracket to a brick wall or timber support above the fan on the fan centre line. The fan and tube height document confirms the distance from the fan centre to the mounting brackets. Fix the mounting bracket at the non-fan end at the same height. Attach the thimble and turnbuckle to the 4mm wire with the rope grips. Attach the turnbuckle to the mounting bracket and run the cable to the opposite mounting bracket. Fix to the bracket and tension. Adjust the cable to run vertically above the tube. If you are also installing a retraction system, please refer to part 2 of the appropriate instructions as the support clamps need to be installed at this stage. Fix the support cable to the tube cable with rope grips, ensuring that you lift the tube cable to level. Repeat this process every 3 metres. Attach adhesive tape to the outlet of the fan, then attach the cader, assuming that the cader rod is facing away from the fan. Attach another strip of adhesive tape to the cader. Temporarily attach the tube to the fan end quick link to prevent the tube from moving along the horizontal rope. As you work your way down the building, stop at each eyelet and place a quick link through the eyelet and the horizontal wire rope. Repeat for all eyelets along the tube. Place the tube taper around the fan. The tube taper has been supplied larger than the fan for ease of installation. It helps to add markers to the 12, 3, 6 and 9 o'clock points on the taper and then match these up to the corresponding points on the fan outlet. This ensures an even and neat finish. Secure the tube to the fan with a ratchet strap. The strap should be secured up against the cader rod to prevent the strap from coming off the fan. Secure each end of the vent tube with a length of 3mm cable and a rope grip. Connect the fan to a local power supply. Wire the fan to the lockable isolation switch as per the wiring diagram in the installation guide. Turn on your fan and check the tube inflates as it should. Hold the cowling to the wall ensuring that it's equally spaced around the fan. Mark and drill holes before bolting into place. If your cowling is flush to the building, we recommend running a line of mastic between the cowling and the building to prevent water ingress. There's a broad range of spare parts available which can be found on our website or ordered through your local dealer. Thank you for choosing Galebreaker Agri. We are pleased to offer you a 10 year guarantee, full details of which can be found on our website.